Hey, YouTube. Team Ruby is back together in Ruby Volume 6. Yeah, and you could watch it only on Rooster Teeth. For free. For free? Nothing. Welcome to Glitch Please, the show where we talk all about video games. I'm your host, Brian. Oh, there's my camera. Hi, <laughs> I'm Adam. I have my beard is puffy today. We got Adam back. Hooray for Adam. I'm my valve silence of talking about video games. <laughs> I'm back. Right, I've my tried. My beard is a little I've, more tame. I've tried for weeks to get your beard. I know. Yeah, it's just back. been a busy life, That's man. That's all right. You have what a real you job. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm Nick. We got Nick back, too. Not to be, oh, thank not you, to be thank left you. out, Thank Nick. you. Uh, so, boys, we have a lot of games to talk about. Uh, not Nothing huge, I think, released this last week. Uh, I mean, like, Battlefield. Darksiders 3 fucking released, and no one even knew. Yeah. Like, yeah. I literally, Tuesday rolled around, and yep. I looked at the new game releases, and Darksiders 3 was on that list, and I didn't know. The reviews that says a lot about that game yeah. and how they're marketing it. Yep. And I haven't played it yet, so I can't talk about the quality of the game itself. But yeah. man, what a uh, disappointment it's looking like. I, I, Reviews I, are kind of tepid. Yeah, a little bit from yeah what they're kind of like all over the place. Like, did you play like, either of the first two? I did not. It's weird. People don't like two, yeah. but they like one. I was reversed. Like two was kind of, okay. or one was just kind of, uh, I don't know. It was, okay, it was fine. Slash, it was, yeah. yeah, but two, and people hated this edition, but I liked it. It was the like the loot. And the semi-open world, and to me, it felt like it was just like an out of nowhere game that I was able to dump like 40 hours into, and you can go around and collect legendary scythes and things like that, and you could make really fun builds that like you could never die, and like that was so much fun to me. And then this game, they took away the loot system again. It's a little bit more like one. Yeah. But I was watching a little bit of video on it, and it seemed pretty basic and confined. Yeah, that's that's what I've heard. The the reviews just seem like okay. But yeah. the fact that you didn't get it, you're probably the top audience who would get Darksiders yeah. 3. I, I mean, there's so many games out this holiday season, man. What are you playing? What Talk about uh, talk I'm, about. I'm playing what? new and old, man. All right. I mean, where do you even want to start? I, when I, the last time I left, it was because I was playing Red Dead Redemption. Yes. For, you took I, a, I took you two took weeks. A, <laughs> it was fantastic. Um, I beat it in that two weeks. So what were your thoughts on Red Dead 2? There's been a lot of, there's been not a lot of criticism, some criticism that it's slow. So my favorite thing about Red Dead was I didn't look up anything beforehand, yeah. except for like the initial reveal trailer. And so I went into it completely blind, not expecting anything other than like, this is Red Dead, and I love that. Right. Um, I, I was, it was, I felt like it was slow in the beginning, but because I was so excited for it, it carried me through uh, that intro sequence, which lasted about two hours. Right. Um, and you kind of get used to the speed of it by then. Um, but it is like very everything's very plotting and deliberate. Yep. Um, and it's a very cinematic game, but it does feel like kind of like a departure uh, from like the the standard like GTA formula because it's yeah. not as it's not as loosey goosey. It's it's like, but there are times when the controls are. Listen, there are some bad things about that game, and the controls are one of them. The controls yes. are maybe the worst thing about that game. Like the way you control Arthur, and because he yeah. seems like plotting to me. It, just he's just slow. It feels like. They tried to do too much with the controller. Um, they try to like. I, I think they try to. They add a little bit too much assist in there. Yeah. A thing that like constantly happened to me was if you try to go off road with your horse, which yep. horses are all terrain vehicles. If you didn't know, um, <laughs> and you their thing. like, it would constantly happen where like there'd be a tree in the center here, and I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna go left, but my horse would just like. He wants to dodge the tree on the right side. Right. So, like, while I'm going left, my horse is going right, and we just smack into the tree. And, like, I would constantly <laughs> crash into shit. And, like, fly. And the, the animation is hilarious the first, like, ten times. Yeah. But after that, it's like, motherfucker. Right. Stop yeah. knocking me off my horse. Really right. Yeah. Um, but that game does stuff that I, I, f I feel like people have been afraid to do in open world games, uh, with the exception of, like, maybe. I mean, kind of Legend of Zelda, but basically, like, the first, I don't know, 10 hours, I was like, I was doing the story, and I was like, there's nothing, to, there's nothing else in the world. Right. Like, where is everything? Right. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was texting my friend, I was like, dude, is this, does it feel like a little barren? Like, do you feel like you're just kind of doing the main quest and yeah. nothing else? Yep. And then, like, I walked into the train station, and I looked at the wall, and there was a poster on the wall, and it, like, gave me a quest. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. 
like this game does not put everything on the map for you. Right. And you have to like walk around and find it. And that can be encourages exploration that way. Totally. And that can be a huge turnoff for people, but for someone who was excited about it and wanted to be completely immersed, I literally like it was not a game that I had anything on in the background. I would just like shut off. I would just focus on the game and I could play it for like 10 hours in a stretch. And it was it's so much fun. Um, I will say that like after I beat the game, I wasn't as motivated. I did every side quest and every uh, like every story related thing, and I did a lot of collectibles. But by the end of the game, there's like a list of nine types of collectibles, and like there's like ten uh, or twenty. Dream catchers. I had two. There's 30 rock carvings or something. Or no, yeah. 30 uh, dinosaur bones. I had one. And it's like all of this stuff is like completely hidden in the game. Yeah. And I could go through with a map, but like when I would find a rock carving, it'd be like, oh, this is completely off the beaten path. And that game is huge. Yes. Um, so what ended up happening was like after I completed the game and I started going around and just finding stuff, like I'd be doing treasure chests, it started to become diminishing returns where you. It, it would be densely packed, and then the more you find, it's less densely packed. So, like, the the amount of exploration versus the amount of reward would start to tip. The scales right. would start to tip. Um, and so that, I didn't 100% it. Yeah. But I did, you know, complete the story, get all the treasure chests, and all, all the stuff I considered to be fun. The, the stuff I didn't do was, like, uh, you know, here's a... There's 30 fucking dinosaur bones. You found one. Find the rest of them. Uh, but I, I will say, like... That game is also really buggy for me, mm -hmm. um, and it like really bad times. So uh, I won't spoil anything. But uh, the last portion of the game, um, there's about like a five mission stretch where you cannot save. Yep. Um, and it's just like back to back to back to back missions. Um, you can't save. No. You can't like start save. You are. Like you, that? you can only save out of missions. So like, and it just throws you in mission and mission and mission and mission. So so once you're on that road, you have to keep on. Dang. Right. Yeah. And 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 I wasn't sure if it auto saved between missions, but I wasn't willing to find out. And the, re the what happened was, and this happened like earlier in the game, but like my audio just like, half of it died. Mm -hmm. I would lose dialogue, and I would lose some of my sound effects. Like for example, That's like weird. I could hear like my horses like. Uh, like the metal parts of my horse is jingling, mm -hmm. but I couldn't hear its footsteps. Yeah, 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 I've had that. It's, yep. it's crazy. Right. And what ended up happening was in, in the last portion of the game, it started to cut out on me. And I was like, well, I can't quit. <laughs> this is the climax of the game. Right. Fuck. Yeah. Um, I will say thankfully in the last mission where dialogue was very important, it came back. It came back. But I had another glitch that was like, there's, I won't say what it is, but you'll know what it is if I describe it. There's a moment in that game and this is sort of a Red Dead thing where it cuts to a like a, a cinematic cutscene style thing and you just push X to ride. All you do is hold X. And while you're riding your horse, it is feeding you bits of story and also playing like really dramatic music because it's setting the tone because you're off to do something extremely important. Right. Um, what ended up happening for me was I held X and I was, it was like the music kicked in. I was like, fuck yes, this is that moment. Because in, in the last game, you had it when you were riding into Mexico. You yeah. had it. Yep. You had it when you completed the thing you needed to do as John Marston and you were going back to your family. And it was, it, that is the, the quintessential Red Dead moment. Right. And my fucking horse went off the path. <laughs> and, and, and like the moment you get off the path, and I wasn't like, I'm not controlling the stick. Yep. Like all you're doing is pushing X. It went off the path. And fucking hard cuts the music because you're off the path. Get back on the path. And I was like, oh, great. <laughs> it's like a record Fuck. scratching. Oh my yeah, God. dude. And I was like, okay. And I like got back on the path. And it was like, no music. Just go to your destination. Like any other fucking I would, mission. I would restart the mission right you there. You can't because it's the last five missions. I was like, you <laughs> motherfucker. Because you would have to I do it done all it over anyway. again. Yeah. yeah. Well, well like, I say that uh, not that bizarre, but uh, the music in this game is fucking great. Though. I know. Like it's some of so it is like great. so like some of it is so minimalistic and good, and then others, other sections like you said, it's like epic western. Yes. It is like as good as any movie. Uh, the production values are insane. I, I loved most of the voice acting. Yeah. I also. Do not like the controls of it. It's um, there's, so clunky, and it's, some of it's because I just think I'm stupid. Like there's a part early on where a uh, reverend is drunk, and you got to get his leg out from the train track because uh -huh. his foot's stuck. And the game, it looked like it's telling me press I, 
press I. And I'm like, what the fuck is I? Press <laughs> what, I. What control? And so I die five times. I have to look you it don't up. I don't know where the I button you is, you it, idiot. It means press the, it meant press the L like control stick. It was a lowercase L and then you can free them. And I'm like, why, why this should not be it, that hard. I don't think it was lowercase. I've never seen it be lowercase. But it I'm looks with, like an but I. But I'm with you. But I'm with you. <laughs> um, and there's just some sections of that where it's like, I'm trying to, I know what I need to do, but it, it you know, I, it's still like awkward to pull off. Yeah. Uh, but overall, yeah, I loved it. Uh, yeah. The story is amazing. And to me, that like Red Dead, the first Red Dead had my favorite game story of all time. Yeah. So this Red is. Red Dead Revolver or Red Dead Redemption? Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. yeah. Re like Redemption, same. It was like John Marston was my favorite character. Yes. yes. And I started playing this game, and Grace was watching me, and I was like holding people up for money, like getting like their debts back, and I was like kind of like, I was a real piece of shit. Yeah. And I really did not like Arthur Morgan at all. Right. But. As in the title of the game, there is a redemption arc for yeah. Arthur mm. Morgan, and oh. it, he becomes. I just love him. He's just <laughs> the best. He is. I don't know if it's because it's so fresh in my mind, but right. I think he is my favorite character. Oh wow! Yeah, that's not um, just recency bias. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that story, the the voice acting, like the, <clears throat> people complain a lot about the shooting. Um, and I agree that just the freehand shooting is really bad, but the, the thing about that game is to me is just use dead eye as much as yes. you can. Yes, yes. And spamming dead eye, well, you have the, the amazing, like when you have shootout music going, that game is, that game, you feel like you're in a Western. Yep, yep. Um, yep. And it's, it's, it's so much fun, yeah. You're gonna play uh, Red Dead Online when that comes out? I, Beta starts this Yeah, week, it started it? yesterday for Ultimate Edition users, or owners, and I don't think I had Ultimate Edition. I bought on the digital version, but um, yeah, but it kind of depends if, like, the, my friend that I would like to play with is, he hates getting griefed, so, like, it would have to have mm -hmm. private yeah. sessions, and if it doesn't, then I might not play that much of it. Um, I really want to, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Right. I haven't played GTA Online in a while, but I know that that game, they, they took some really good anti-griefing measures. Like, you can have a private mode or whatever, you're yeah. just completely intangible. You can't hurt people, but other people can't hurt you. Yeah. So if you just want to, like, go to the store and not right. get assassinated 30 times, right. there and is I, that option. And it's not, I, I looked it up, and it wasn't announced that they were doing private stuff yet, but it's still in, in beta, mm -hmm. um, whatever that means. And so we'll see. If the you other, play the game in the first three days, you can access the beta right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you play it on launch day, right? Yep, and then it's, it's accessible to everybody else on Friday. Yeah. I'm going to give the online some time. I feel like it needs a little while to work the bugs out, and I'll, I'll come on it eventually. Probably. I'd like to think, though, that they've learned a lot in five years of GTA of Online. GTA that, Online, yes. You know, when Red Dead Online launches, I would assume, I would hope it's in better shape than GTA Online was, because I still remember that being a whole oh, nightmare. Oh, it was, yeah, a yeah. mess. Uh, speaking of online, another big uh, game out right now, Fallout 76. Mm -hmm. That's been a lot, <laughs> uh, that's been very controversial. Dude. Um, what uh, What are you guys' thoughts, have you? Well, let me tell you, when you, dis when you say something bad about a game, that the internet likes, you will fucking hear about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've had that many replies to a tweet ever, uh, but I just tweeted a video of uh, Fallout 76 on the PS4, and I was just kind of like shooting at dudes and running away, and it was running at like 10 FPS. <laughs> it's like, it, it, it ran so bad, like I don't know how they could sell it as a game. Yeah. Like, at least on PS4. This is the video. Look how shitty that is running and looking. It, that game look and that's yes. disgusting. That trust, looks like trust, I'm trying to play it on my me, Mac. I realize I'm not <laughs> yeah. shooting well. Like my like my 2011 <laughs> MacBook Pro. It, yeah, it, exactly. In windowed mode, this Dude, small. You know. that, the, granted, that was like the day or two after it came out, and I know they pushed a performance patch, but it like it genuinely was unplayable. I, I played it for about an hour on PS4, and I was like, this is not a game that should be sold. And I know there's I, there's always going to be bugs. But I, I don't. I think a lot of people's problem is why, the game should not be launching in this state. No, it, it, like it even for Bethesda, not. it's too buggy. Yes. No, I mean like those the, that that frame rate and just the amount of like weird shit that would happen, like yeah. textures would be gone or my character would be stuck in place or just like bizarre shit. Uh, aside from that, are you having fun with it? Like, is I, the concept of the game, even if it ran at like a super smooth frame rate? I switched over to PC. Yep. Um, and I, I ended up playing with a friend because that's what everyone said. Like, play with a friend. Right. Try it on PC. Um, and I will admit that it was, I had fun just running around with my friend and shooting zombies right. or, or shooting ghouls. Um, but 
it's there's not like a lot to it. Yeah. There are essentially it's like a radio play. Like you walk around and you talk to terminals and you'll get just a bunch of quests in your hub or your HUD. And it, it's it's kind of just a lot of like all, all it's really doing is giving you things to do while you walk around. Yeah. It's like, hey, pick up these bottles or hey, uh, kill a, a, a rad scorpion or whatever. Um, and, and while you're doing that, uh, the, the fun part about it, as is a lot of Fallout is, is getting loot. Right. So, like, there are unique enemies, and you will get um, upgraded guns and things like that. Um, I, I'm not really a base building kind of person, so I don't really care about that stuff. And apparently, a lot of people are losing their bases. Um, but oh. the game, oh. yeah, uh, the game is like kind of, I don't want to say boring, but like the, it seems like someone had a, an idea for a game put together a prototype and was like, God. And they're like, oh, dude, let's just put this out today. And that's what they did. Um, and it seems like it could be better. Like, they need to, like, even on PC, they need to fix performance <clears throat> issues. Um, they, they, they need to fix, uh, just, like, they need to add more to it in terms of what you're doing. Like, I don't know. I don't want to walk around and pick up bottles at a shooting range. I don't want to, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you know, just go kill. It's, it's MMO-style questing. Right, and they, what they have, it's like two two major problems, performance issues and content issues, and right. that's, that's a huge lift in terms of fixing it, and now uh, we did a video uh, recently that uh, there's a law firm like investigating that, that could, uh, could we sue over this because yeah. Bethesda's not offering refunds on this, and, and there's speculation that they didn't put it out on Steam because then they would have to abide by Steam's return policy, and so they didn't do that, so so it's uh, it's been a messy launch to say yeah, the least. That yeah. Uh, they also had a I don't know if you read about it, but the collector's edition, which was a, the power armor edition, yep. came with like a power armor helmet. And I didn't know this, but it was supposed to come with a canvas bag, and I saw okay. it on a Reddit post yesterday. Okay. Um, but it didn't. It shipped with a nylon bag, and Grace mm. and it's like a, a really shitty bag. It's it's next step up from just a plastic bag. Like yeah. Grace <laughs> uh, Grace had it, and I, and I was like, oh, this is just something you throw away, and it's like, no, it has West Tech printed on you. You're supposed to carry it in there. That is, I think, the nylon bag. That it's looks very like shiny. a it, garbage bag. It's it's very, very on. shitty, yeah. It looks like, yeah, something you would end up using for, like, your reusable sh grocery shopping. Yeah, but bags. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but they were, it, it would probably rip, but they would, like, they, they said it was supposed to come with a canvas bag, and it's, and as of the time of that Reddit post, it was still uh, listed as supposed to come with a canvas bag, yeah. and they even responded and were like, yeah, we just, uh, we didn't have the materials for it, so we just went with nylon. We ran what out of canvas. Fuck? Yeah, yeah we ran like, out of we're canvas. Not gonna, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna do anything about it. And it's like, that's kinda, that, that to me seems as much or more of a bait and switch as the game itself. Because that is like, you were listing a product you were supposed to get and they're not giving it right. to you. Right, Um, and you could argue the same for Fallout, but I think, I think the, <laughs> the, the whole game argument that would be a very tricky thing yeah. to, to to pass in court. But. Is it kind of the dick's last resort of open world Bethesda games, where it's intentionally bad? Not intentionally, but like you, it's bad and you still <laughs> a, have it, a this, good time? It, question mark. No, no. I no, mean, like, really. I, like, like I said, I, I had fun, but I, I was just talking to my friend on Discord, and we were just like, oh, so the fun talk, came from just having conversations talking, with humans. Yeah, we were just talking bullshit and, and <laughs> shooting stuff. It wasn't like, but that that could be done in any game, pretty yeah, much. That probably didn't I have mean, a lot to do with the, Fallout. There was like, yeah, the the ever so slightly good carrot on the stick thing, where you're getting like slightly better gear. Um, but again, that's I don't know if that's enough to keep. Like I wouldn't recommend buying the game at sixty dollars. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Um, but there might, there is some fun to be had with friends, but like that game is far from a state that's good. And it it feels like fucking every like online game is doing this now. Where like they come out with a piece of shit game yep. that everyone hates, yep. and over the next then they make an apology, and then over the next year they're like, ah, oh, we're gonna make it so much better, and then in a year it's gonna be okay to play. No Man's like, Sky, no Man's Sky, Sea of Thieves, Divinity, to an Sea of Thieves, like or not Divinity, Destiny, Destiny, uh, even Battlefront too with yeah, the microtransactions, like, yeah. Like, it just seems like the thing. I, I'm stunned that Bethesda released it in this state. Like, did they have a hard deadline? Like, nope, we are coming out at this date, come hell or high water. Because I have a friend who, he told me months and months ago he was playing it in the office. Like, they were, you know, play so it's been in some playable form for a long time now. Mm -hmm. But still, this is the, you know, this is the condition it released in. 
it, it's I don't know. It's I mean, they're they're certainly burning like a lot of goodwill. Like they're already they're already known for putting out right. buggy games, right. but in but general, they're, they're pretty lovable. Yeah, you, you uh, they're. In the face of like all the positives, they're easy to forgive. I mean, right. Skyrim, how buggy was that right. game? Right. But, but people love Skyrim. But right. you know, it's still the, today. Yeah, exactly. Seven, almost, yeah, seven years later. Yeah. It, it's Nuts. one of those where a bad game can just like, it, it can just erase, yeah, all of that. Look at yeah. like Mass Effect Andromeda. I mean, mm -hmm. It's just like, it just wiped out, you know, so, uh, so much goodwill. Yeah. All right, Nick, what are you playing? Uh, so last week was Thanksgiving. Yep. I brought my Switch to my family's place in Dallas, and I got to kind of revisit a couple of games. I haven't really been playing a whole lot new, but uh, I got to have some good old Mario Kart battles with my dad. Hell yeah. Are you um, playing uh, the one on Switch? Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So good. Uh, he, he has not played the game very much, but I played a ton of it. And uh, it, was, it reminded me of the times when we'd play like Mario Kart 64 back in the day, and we'd take turns trying to beat each other's lap records and all that. Oh yeah, time was, trials. Yeah, 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 exactly. So back in those days, my dad would be like, you know, when I come home from school, he'd be like, uh, so I, I beat your record on this track, and so then I'd have to go and try to beat it. And we'd have oh, this, that's awesome. Yeah, we'd have this back and forth. Um, so it kind of reminded me of those good old days. Uh, besides that, played uh, some Jackbox, which I have on there. It's, mm -hmm. it's such a great party game. Like I can bring that over to any family gathering, and right. um, they, they actually look forward to it now. Like they're not really into modern games so much. Like, mm -hmm. the, the most recent modern game that either my parents have been, like, really into was, for my dad, Mario Maker, which they still need to put on Switch. Um, Did your dad make his own levels and shit on Mario No, Maker? he would just endlessly play other people's mm -hmm. levels, and he would get, like, he would love that. Yeah. So he he would look forward to me bringing the Wii U over. Oh, that's cool. Um, for that exact reason. Like, yeah. I, I kind of thought about getting him a 3DS with Mario Maker on it, uh, whenever that came out, but when I found out it didn't have online, oh, that's right. that's where his enjoyment of the game yeah. comes from. So, nah. Uh, if they ever put it on the Switch, then may consider like trying to get him a Switch for birthday or something like they that. They should port that over. They really they should. They ported everything else, and that's like a good tool set to make your, and there's mm -hmm. some crazy Still has a touch level. screen. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You don't lose that functionality at right. all. Right. It might as well. Um, so we played Jackbox. Uh, it's Jackbox 2, so it's like Quiplash, which is a fan favorite. Uh, Bidiots, there was um, a couple others I'm forgetting, but the one we played the most was actually Bombs Core, which is, it's, it's kind of like Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, okay. only right. everybody has access to the bomb and everybody has access to instructions. You all have to come together and put all the pieces together to figure out which wires to cut. It's a really simplified version of it, but uh, we had fun with it. We were not very good together, but uh, <laughs> we, we had fun trying to get past the first, like, two levels of the story yeah. mode in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, that was a good time. Other than that, I guess the closest thing to a new game I've been playing is watch the Smash Ultimate streamers get their uh, accounts banned in real time. For oh, leaking, so for leaking <laughs> copies of the yeah. game. Yeah. yeah, I am. Why did anyone think that was a good I don't idea? know, there was like, one guy was. going to get banned. There was one guy I was watching like yesterday or Friday of last week, and the the genius had a, a live cam of himself in the corner. So <laughs> all the evidence they need. I know, like everybody, <laughs> everyone in the chat is like, you know, you're being an idiot, right? And he's like, no, they can't do anything to me. And then pfft, they cut his feet until it happens. Until it happened. Um, I, Smash Ultimate is a game I've been waiting for. And I, I'm, I'm watching like every single thing that comes out about that game with like a magnifying glass. I'm gonna go into this game like a scientist as best I, as I can. I got the I pre-ordered it last night, yeah? so I'm ready. I'm so ready we're gonna to play, right? It. We'll play. I mean, you will destroy <laughs> me. But if you want to race a Mario Kart, I will. I will get okay, revenge okay. of Mario Kart Eight. Um, what did I play? I went also out of town for Thanksgiving. I didn't bring my Switch because I was worried about like. Little kid, like cousins and totally. nieces and nephews, like you know what I mean, like getting yeah. a hold of it. So I brought my 3DS and I played some Terraria, which was fun. I haven't really gotten into. I it. fucking love Terraria. It's so fun. I and, mean, and I didn't know what to do at first, but then like I did the tutorial and I got my house set up and everything. It's great. There was like a probably like two years where. Ashley and I were like, we're going to play Terraria, and now she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry, everybody. Um, I played that. I played Dragon Quest VI. 
uh, which is a DS game, mm -hmm. but uh, I was just kind of going through the backlog mm -hmm. on my 3DS, but like really enjoyed it, like really enjoyed sneaking away from my family, holding up in a room for like an hour or two before people like noticed I was gone, and then I'd pop up, make an appearance, do something, and then go back Dude. and keep <laughs> playing it. It yep. was great. I, I had one family member over for Thanksgiving, so there was no getting away. Oh, uh, you're you're like one on one though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ended up like I was like cooking Thanksgiving dinner with my mom in the kitchen will be the most stressful thing I ever do. So I stayed up. <laughs> I was like, "Good night, mom," on Wednesday night, and then like, and I stayed up till six a.m. just making everything. Besides, I was like ready to go in the morning. Um, you cooked everything like overnight. I, like I made the, the stuffing was ready to just pop in the oven. Yep. Uh, gravy I made with uh, chicken or sorry turkey wings. So yep. the gravy was done. Nice. Uh, mashed potatoes were like ready to go. I couldn't really do anything else with them because you can't peel them. Out. Yeah. They're ready. Basically, all I had to do on Thanksgiving was make mashed potatoes and put shit in the oven. That's and it. Eat it up. Yeah. 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 Um, Smart. Dude. Yeah, it was great. Uh, do, we have to talk about Pokemon. Let's go. Have you talked about it? Yes, okay. I've been playing. Uh, but yeah, any thought? I I really like it. My my <clears throat> takeaway on it, I think it's beautiful. I think it's going forward like what Pokemon games should look like. Mm -hmm. um, I I liked the catch mechanic more than I thought just in terms of skipping the random wild mm. battles and just catching them. I don't know if it's a $60 game. I think at 40, I would have liked it more, but I loved it. It's Pokemon Yellow. Like, I love going back to that. Yeah. Did you get the Pokeball? No, I didn't. Okay, would have been a $110 game for you then. Uh, yeah. 100 if you buy it as a one edition. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, 10 40, it's, it's Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> it's, it? it's silly, because when you open that box up, it's literally just the game and the Pokeball just put in another box. Like, in, <laughs> it's their individual <laughs> packaging just popped in another box. Um, Your thoughts? So, uh, like, I talked about this before on Glitch Please and how, like, unexcited I was about it. Right. Because it looked like a child's game. A child's game, this Pokemon, Pokemon? game is. Pokemon, no. <laughs> uh, but... And it is. It is a yes. very simplified Pokemon game, but I think it is just my nostalgia for Pokemon Red and Yellow and Blue that is like carrying me through this. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and it is the. It's like the addition of of having Pokemon be walking around in the wild feels so right. Yes. It doesn't like that's the kind of thing I always wanted in a Pokemon to game. See the, some, to something see like that. The, yeah. yeah, I, and I can dodge the Zubats. Yes, and, you know, <laughs> I don't have to fight twenty Geo right. dudes. Um, that that is really great. The, every time you go to a town that you remember, or, or like it literally happens with every Pokemon I see, I'm like, it's him! It's a Growlithe! I have to put in my party mm -hmm. goodbye, Geo dude, or like whatever. Um, there's a lot of nostalgia there, uh, and I don't know if that that obviously does not play for people that aren't nostalgic for it. But like, if you are nostalgic for it, maybe take another look at it. Um, I hate the catch, like oh, the, you do. the throwing. Okay. Yeah, it was novel the first couple times. Right. Um, I, I generally just play in handheld mode now. Uh, because I ended up wasting so many Pokeballs. Yeah. Mm. Uh, because yep. no matter what I do with the Joy-Con, it's like uh, sometimes it's straight, sometimes it's over there. Um, the then the frustrating part is uh, Grace has a Pokeball uh, controller, and I tried that. It was a thousand times better. And really? I mean, like it, it worked. Just more what, responsive. Yeah. Than... Whereas the Joy-Con, for me at least, is just like all over the place. I yeah, I wasted twenty <laughs> balls on a fucking butterfree and I was so mad. I had yeah. the same experience of like, God damn it. Yeah. Um if I could add one thing to that game, it would be a difficulty slider. I think that Yes. It is one thing I hear is it's really easy. It's it's so incredibly easy. It's like especially like if you just stick with Poke, uh, Pokemon, if you just stick with Pikachu, um it's kind of, it's you yeah, just, that's, you have like, that's another like, thing. Dude, you want to use Zippy Zap? Dude, it's a one shot every time. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. He, he gets overpowered very quickly. Yeah, and did you guys both get the Pikachu? I did. Yeah. Okay, because it's. The Why same would you thing. get Eevee? Because you can't. Like, the cool thing about Eevee is you can evolve it. Yeah, right. you can't I evolve know, that Eevee. I know, it's the base level. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Normal type Pokemon? Psh. Um, and the, yeah, like stuff like because of the difficulty. Uh, the co-op is like completely rendered. Oh, usually. it's so broken. Cause I had, if you have somebody jump in and play, like it doesn't adjust at all. No. So you just steamroll, you just steamroll. Like, like Grace is playing with me and I would be like, well, I'm just not gonna use Pikachu because everything will die before you get to even do anything. <laughs> right. Uh, great. Um, so it is definitely a, a, a more accessible Pokemon game, but nostalgia, very good. Visuals, very good. Just wish it was a little bit harder, or you had a difficulty slider. Well, what do you uh, think of the gym requirements? What? Because like, there's 
there's some where you have to have caught 50 unique Pokemon before you can battle the gym leader. Oh, it's, it's different things. I have I've only gotten like two. That. I've only done two gyms so far, and I haven't had that. I've I've been catching extra Whoops. Pokemon. That's fine. I've been trust me. Spoilers. You know? <laughs> uh, I've been I've been catching extra Pokemon for like when you walk around, they'll be like, oh, do you want this Pokemon? Uh, but you need to catch 50 Pokemon. So I've been catching extra for that, but um, it's it's really a it's a it's a charming game, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's a lot more fun than I expected because I feel like there's more abundant trainers. I don't miss the wild Pokemon battle so much. Nope. Um, yeah, it's just really fun. Uh, they did take out stuff that like, you, you could go to a shop and there's a guy who's like, oh, look at all my bikes. You can't have one. You cannot have a bike. And, and that's like, you can ride Pokemon, but I'm not sure that it makes you go any faster. And that was the whole point of the bike was you're zipping around. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, they took out stuff like uh, the, the, there was like a, the gambling machines. Oh, gone. yeah. yeah. Those are oh, because you don't want to get the kids addicted. Yeah, well, what about my gambling. generation? We love gambling. <laughs> um, we love being addicted. Uh, so, yeah, that's a good game. It does feel a bit like talking about nostalgia, going back to your old high school and totally. noticing how much has changed. Right. That's that's but the do you overwhelming feel feeling. Like of too it. big for yeah, like this oh, world it's so now? small now. No, but but this it looks better. But it, it mm -hmm. kind of looks like how you how you remember it, even though if you go back and play the original, how you imagined it exactly. Yeah. Um, I I I like it, but yes. It, it would benefit greatly from having some sort of hard mode, some sort of different, uh, because it is way too easy. Yeah, and people are like, well, if you just don't use your starting Pokemon, it's a lot harder. Okay, but that's my fucking starting Pokemon. Yeah, I bought the, I bought the game for Pikachu. Right, <laughs> uh, right. But, yeah. I mean, apparently, towards end game, there's a little bit more of a challenge, or like after end endgame. Um, but, yeah. it's uh, uh, there's, no, there's not, like, a lot of... You're, the, the reward is, is for me, is just the nostalgia. And, totally. and it's, it's catching yes. the available Pokemon. Um, and I will say it is a thousand percent bullshit that they locked Mew behind a $50 purchase. There's no other way to get him? No. Are they, and do when you know if they're going to have events, kind of like with the, the main series game? I, where, like, limited time off? I mean, Nintendo's been very bullshit. good about that stuff, but I don't know. I, uh, yeah. It, it's not a, a reasonable thing to ask of people. No, it's not. It, it also it got me more excited for the next game, whatever the new RPG is that they'll release the next proper year. Gen yeah, 8. The, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. the, um, what, what would you What would you want out of uh, a Pokemon? Like the biggest thing for me in, in Pokemon that I want is a better battle system yep. and a less linear world. Something that's more akin to like. I don't want to use Legend of Zelda as a reference, but an open world where you have freedom to go any which direction you like, and there are Pokemon in the wild, and it's more of like an over-the-shoulder view rather than like a top-down thing. Well, see, you, you say Breath of the Wild as something you don't necessarily want. I, I almost think I might want that. It, it wouldn't be a proper Gen 8 game. It would almost have to be like some kind of a spinoff, but right. something daring like that well, is I, what I, I, I would be doing. I just meant I didn't want to just keep referencing that, but that is kind of sure. like what I'm thinking. Yeah, like an open world game where you can have the freedom to go wherever. I think something like that would be cool. How much of Let's Go do you think they're going to incorporate into uh, the Gen 8? Is it going to be like the same graphics you, system? That's I, the big think, graphics think, engine, rather. I think they absolutely have to, it has to look the same or better. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. That I mean, that seems like a given. The the wild, they have to have Pokemon walking around in the wild. You cannot have invisible Pokemon in grass. Going back would feel weird now. Yeah. I, I think you should be able to battle them and not have the throwing mechanic, I think. But, but yes, you have to be able to see them. Yeah, if, if, it's, if you don't battle them to catch them, then it's not a proper Gen 8. Right. I think. That's uh, one of the big things that distances let's go from the main series. I struggle to think of like what I would want out of the battle system to make it more challenging and rewarding. But there's so many turn-based games out there that are that do turn-based really fun. <laughs> um, and this is very much a like, what's your highest power move? Use that every time. Yep. Uh, yep. Spam it and you'll fill your pee pee uh, <laughs> after you're done using it. <laughs> and just, but but the way I, I love the way the the battle animations look. Oh my I love God. the uh, the perspective, the different sizes of Pokemon. Dude, so fucking. The cool. first time you see an Onyx, yeah. will shit your pants. Yeah. Uh, and, and like, oh, I have little ass Pikachu here, like right. battling, and like that is great. Yeah, yeah. There's there's oh, there's a lot of good about this game. A lot more than I expected, and I'll yeah. definitely I'll cop to that. Yep. Um, what else did I play? I uh, I 
finally properly started Red Dead and started, you know, playing that. And it's a lot of fun. I, I kind of had to clear the decks because it's like, mm-hmm. I just want to play Red Dead. Mm-hmm. Like you were saying, I want to like tune everything yeah. out and like experience this because this is like, a you know, a triple A AAA game to the nth degree. And I'm really enjoying it. It's, you know, it's great. Yeah. It deserves all the praise it gets. There are some... The, yes, there are control issues. There, there, there are some things that I would change. But overall, in terms of the production values, the way it looks, the way it sounds, the way it's written, the way it's acted, it doesn't, it doesn't get any better than that. Quick question, and this will determine whether I pick up the game in the yeah. near future or not. Can you hog tie random people? Of course you can. It's okay. red. Come okay. And Just you can leave them on a sure. track. <laughs> Had to make sure. Oh, man. Do, do there's, they so, there's, so many, there's, so many good, there's so many good touches in that game, man. Yeah. If you lay them on the train tracks, because I remember if you did this in the original Red Dead, when the train came by, they would literally just explode into a cloud of blood. I, is, it, is it a little bit more nuanced than that? Or I left it, someone on a train track, and I waited there for like five minutes, and a train never came. So I haven't actually seen anyone get hit by a train yet. Mm, yeah. Okay. But um, I would not be surprised if there was some gore, because, dude, when you shotgun someone in the face, their head is gone. Yeah, doesn't exist. It anymore. is like it's like oh, this yeah. is too mature even for me. Um, can I talk about one last game? Go for Just it, really quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I have been tr- I've tried getting into this game five different times or more. Divinity Two Original Sin. Oh, okay. Um, and Did you get it for console or something? No, or? I got it for PC. Okay. And the game does a really bad job of sort of onboarding you. The first section of the game is called Fort Joy, and once you get over the prologue, you get there and it's just like yep. Yeah, figure it out and and there are quests and there are things to do but I feel like the what ended up happening every time was I would be I would get all these quests and I would go try to do them and like oh they're level three and I'm level two but that's a really big difference in this game yeah and so you get your ass kicked over and over and you kind of try to walk around and figure out what to do and it would kind of be this you kind of just get lost but I finally got over that hump and um last night or a couple days ago I started a campaign with some friends um it's amazing. And, and then because I was waiting for them, I started again last night making my own single-player character, uh, and I got, like, five or six hours in. That game is so much... Like, if you haven't given that game a shot, please do if you like turn-based games. And just give yourself... Get over the first... Once you get over the first two hours, you'll enjoy it. Like, what, what sets it apart? Because everyone... I've, I've heard for, you know, a couple years now, this is one of the greatest RPGs ever. What sets it apart? Um, one thing is... It's, it's very much like a old-school role-playing game, yep. um, and so you'll get a lot of that feel. There's there's a ton of, uh, I don't want to say a ton of texture, but there's a ton of texture. Everything is now voice-acted yep. um, in terms of quests. Um, the, the sense of progression you get is probably the biggest thing because the game is tough. Um, but when you start, when you get new gear or when you put on some armor, like, you will feel the big bump. That's and, cool. and your exploration is constantly rewarded, and there's stuff hidden in all the cracks of the game. Um, and it is just a, a pretty high fantasy world, and it's there's a ton of fantasy out there, but I feel like not there isn't a lot like this anymore, and this is very much like a throwback uh, to how old CRPGs were, um, and it's just a pleasure to play. Um, and when you when you have a it's all it's all turn based combat, and when you have a successful turn, you kill something. It is just the best feeling. Yeah, the best yeah. feeling. Especially if it's hard. I miss yeah. like hard RPGs. And that that is a hard game, and that's yeah. different levels of hard. You can play it on like story mode or explorer mm-hmm. mode, and those are like the easier difficulties. But when you get into the regular like classic mode, it's it's a real challenge. And then there's a harder mode even than that. And yeah. that game is a real real challenge yeah. if you if you want it to be. That's awesome. What's the most surprising part of the game for you? Um, there's a lot of, like, interplay between classes, um, and at a certain, I don't want to spoil anything, but at a certain point, um, you become, you become basically, like, the cool guy, uh, and you get, (laughs) you get some extra abilities, and, uh, there's some interplay between all of the, all the abilities between, like, like, fire and oil and, and ice and poison and, it's, it's that sort of stuff that, like, is, is fucking awesome to me. Uh, but th- th- that's about it. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, um, that is our games discussion. So now you guys, neither of you, have uh, experienced our new, our new segment no. on the show. Yeah. So we call it Quiz Please. So let's do some Quiz Please. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is the part of the show where I quiz each of you. I'm going to give you, I think, five questions each. They are ripped from the headlines. Oh, is this like a... We have to, uh, is that current events test? Yes, that's oh, right. Fuck. That's I don't right. know how current I am in my events. All right. Uh, well, we'll do Nick first. Great. Um, the, all right. So, Nick. Okay. Question one. During its launch week, Battlefield Five recently came out. It sold yeah. less than half of the physical copies of which game? Uh, Red, Red Dead. And I'll give you multiple choices. Okay, okay, cool. Red Dead Redemption 2, Battlefield 1, Black Ops 4, or... Both Battlefield 1 and Black Ops 4. I'm going to say... I'm going to say both Battlefield 1 and Black Ops 4. That is correct, yes. Because I forgot that Battlefield 5 was even coming out. Um, yeah. I feel like I have not been bombarded with the advertisements for it the way I have been yep. in the past. So if I'm forgetting... And I like Battlefield. If I'm forgetting that the right. game came out, then probably, possibly... It's the not game is very well. pretty, but... It doesn't sound like people are loving it. it that. Well, and I don't know if uh, you guys saw, but there's a recent uh, ad. I think it's Target Online already selling it for 30 bucks. No what? way. Yes. Already, and and uh, uh, Walmart and one other, I forget the one, 40 bucks. So they must be having some issues, you know, in terms Man. of sales. If they're cutting it that much right off. This I haven't is, heard this is payback for Titanfall. Yeah, I haven't heard too much about it, though. It doesn't seem like a game that people are really talking about. The last thing I heard about it news-wise yeah. was the Battle Royale mode's not coming out till like, March or something right. like that, which I think was yeah. talked about on Glitch Please not long ago. Yes. That's a real shot in the foot for them. Yeah, yeah, especially like, considering, yeah. like, oh, Call of Duty has a great uh, right. uh, uh, Battle Royale mode that people are loving. It probably would have been better. I mean, I know you want to hit the holiday season on the upswing, but probably would have been better to hold yeah. off releasing it until everybody's had time to like, you know, let Black Ops be old news. And, and they del yeah, and they did delay it by, by what, a month or so because they specifically didn't want to compete with Black Ops, but maybe well, they should have pushed it back a little bit more. And even then they yeah. piecemealed out like what content is coming. Like yeah. The Battle Royale's not even coming until next year. Yeah, yeah they, they didn't release all like the war stories, right? Like all that stuff is coming in. Yeah. But it's, it's, like single, single players not even? Weeks. Well, there's some, kind of there's some stories. Yeah, there, there's some, places, but not all. Yeah, the the game is, uh, it's it's the the popular thing now is games as a service. Like you mm -hmm. see, like you know, yep. people, like Destiny is like now you have a year's worth of content here's every, every three map. months. Here's here's yep. these things and yeah. The Target deal is only good until tomorrow, uh, but like even yeah, Best Buy and Walmart have it on sale for forty and forty two. So Best Buy, that's it. Okay, next question for Nick. Nintendo of America President Reggie fils recently said that Nintendo does a whopping blank percent of its business in the Americas during the three-month span, October, November, December. You can cheat off me. Multiple choice, 40%, 50%, 60%, or 75%. So this is how percentage of their business done in the States? Yeah, well, the Americas. the Americas. So I think we're talking about all, but yeah. So it does uh, of of all its business, it does how much? And uh, okay, one more time, the options: 40, 40, 40, 50, 60 percent, or seventy-five percent. Forty and fifty; those are not whopping percentages. <laughs> oh um, yeah, I shouldn't have put whopping. So, <laughs> uh, let me give you one more piece. He okay. said that this, the holiday seasons, are crucial. Mm -hmm. to Nintendo success. Yes. That's the. That, I knew something about this sounded familiar, and it was that part. He said that. Uh, uh, I want to say 60% was the figure for the holiday season. 60% of their annual revenue. Is that your final answer? Sure, why not? That is, that's right. Yes. That is right. Uh, and they, re they just put out a, a release today because I got it. Uh, the switch over the five-day period, or the period between Thanksgiving and mm -hmm. Cyber Monday, sold the best in the U.S. of any Nintendo console ever, even more than the Wii back in the day. Man. So it's it's looking good for them. And, yeah, I mean, they all do. The holidays are important for everybody, but 60% mm -hmm. but of your business, that is I'm happy for the Switch's success and all, but I, I got to say, I wasn't expecting it to be outpacing the Wii in different yeah, categories like this. I don't this. think anybody has. I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not questioning it, yeah. but, like, good for them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's see the okay question. So we're we're two for two for Nick right now. Next question: A YouTuber okay. recently got the Microsoft Adaptive Controller working on which console? Switch. The 
You didn't even need multiple choice. That's because I saw yeah. he was using a, an adapter. I think it was a Brooks adapter. Yeah. Because uh, I use the same kind of thing to make like my PlayStation 4 arcade stick work on Xbox One. I'm like, saying, yeah, I stuff. don't know that it was a Brooks adapter. It, it looks like I saw the picture. Magic NS wireless controller adapter. Is the exact one you okay. need. Okay. All right. I thought you were going to ask what YouTuber is. Well, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. no, no not know. that crazy. <laughs> I was ready to, to cut my losses. Yeah, it was impressive. That one. Uh, it was all right. Nick killing it. Next question. Sweet. Parents are now sending their kids to video game rehab over which game? <laughs> It's oh, man. so easy. I mean, I, mean, I don't, is it? I don't, really, I don't I think know about, what the think about is. what I game is out there right now that all the kids Black are playing. Black Ops 4, Red Dead Redemption 2, Fallout 76, or Fortnite. Fortnite. Yes. Fortnite. Probably right, not going to be Fallout 76. <laughs> I just like throwing that in there. Um, <laughs> they wish it was Fallout 76. Yeah, no, they would kill for that. I saw okay. they had uh, dance classes for learning how to do the Fortnite dances. Where can I take those? I need to know. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to throw you a little anime curveball for the last one. Which classic anime will soon be coming to Netflix? Oh, easy. Sailor Moon, Cowboy Neon Bebop. Genesis Evangelion. Fuck, yes. Are these just so easy? Man, <laughs> John makes them feel so much harder. Al when I ask although them. your question, it, it's a little misleading because they just announced uh, Cowboy Bebop. As a that, that is true. When is I not, wrote this yeah. a couple days ago, they hadn't yeah. announced it. But he asked which anime series yeah, is coming yeah, yeah. back. It's yes. not coming back as an anime series. That's right. Cowboy Bebop is. All right. Uh, perfect. Five wow, five I'm going to lose Killing this. Killing it. All right. Adam Ellis. Square Enix recently trademarked which gaming franchise, the name of this gaming franchise in Europe? Kingdom Hearts, Parasite Eve, Final Fantasy, or Dragon Quest? I'd hope they have Kingdom Hearts <laughs> Parasite Eve? by now. Yes, that's Great. right. I, that was a guess. I didn't. I didn't read this headline. We don't know uh, what for. They haven't said anything. This is just something that you know somebody found. But yes. Uh, what is Parasite Eve? Uh, it's a late '90s uh, game. I never played it. Good. Me neither. I'm glad we're very knowledgeable. Forever <laughs> missed. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> It's yeah, like Resident it's, Evil. Okay, it's a great. survival horror-esque kind of game. Uh, they actually might have dropped a hint way back in one of the Final Fantasy VII remake trailers. There's a banner featuring the protagonist of Parasite Eve in like one of the trailers. Oh, I okay. love when games like from a long time ago drop hints. Like in Halo, mm -hmm. there was a Destiny poster. It was like, find your destiny or whatever. Uh, love that shit. It's like, you never know until you look back. You're like, you motherfuckers. You mm -hmm. I knew bastards. what you were doing this whole yeah. time. Um, all right, one for one for Adam. Next question. It was recently reported that Blank is the best pre-selling Switch game of all time. Smash. Yup. You got it. Yep. Um, rumors are rampant that which Zelda game could soon be coming to Switch? I do know this Do, a, do I not get multiple choice? Um, <laughs> sure, I'll make what? one. What? What? You <laughs> bastard. You're making it harder for me. Uh, rumors Ocarina of Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask. Uh, Let's say Wind Waker. Skyward Sword. Fuck, all right. Well, the one everyone loves yeah. so much. I never played it because you couldn't play I'm a lefty, and you couldn't play as a lefty. Really? Player. Yeah. Yeah, so they made like, Skyward Sword Link right-handed specifically because most people hold the Wii Remote in their right hand and Nunchuck in the left hand. That's why the Wii version of Twilight Princess was flipped on the horizontal axis. Was it good? I never played Skyward, Skyward Sword. As it be, just strictly because of that. <sighs> Skyward Sword is not a bad game, yeah. but it's a bad Zelda game. Okay, interesting. It's everything you love about Breath of the Wild. It, like Breath of the Wild was made largely in response to the criticisms of Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is the polar opposite. It's like every uh, all, all the exploration you want to do. It's like picking which hallway you want to go down. Mm. It's uh -oh. like it's like that. It's not a bad game. Right. But, but that's not a Zelda -y game. Like yeah, said. yeah. I actually have an update on this story. Uh, three hours ago, Eurogamer dropped an article saying uh, that earlier this week, Zelda series boss Eiji Aonuma set tongues wagging when he mentioned the idea to fans uh, during a concert of Zelda music in Japan. At this time, we have no plans to release The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on Nintendo Switch, a uh, Nintendo spokesperson told Eurogamer today. So, huh. At we'll this see time. if they actually... At this time. Mm -hmm. At this yeah, time. They, they qualify. They said that, Blizzard said that a lot about Diablo 3, too. Remember mm -hmm. when they posted the tweet of the the the, lamp, the light going on and off? Oh, and they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. no, 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 that was just a fun thing to do. Whenever Skyward Sword comes out, I hope I hope they also re-release Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD. Uh, I was hoping for Wind Switch. Waker for yeah. Switch, because that game on Wii U is great, but it's such a small audience. Right. Mm -hmm. Like people, right. people should play that game. Yeah, Wind Waker's yeah. great. 
Um, our next question. It was recently announced that Shinmu Shinmu three mm -hmm. has raised how much in crowdfunding? <laughs> oh, I have no way to help you. <laughs> Multiple choice: two million, five million dollars, seven million dollars, or twenty million dollars. One of those is an outrageously large number. I'm gonna go with the is outrageously large number. I'm gonna go 20 million. Oh! No, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Seven million. Uh, 7.1 million. God. In fact, yes. Listen, Huge man. Appetite. Why are you asking me the hard ones? I don't know Shenmue. Uh, yeah, it's not my. Uh, it's not the target audience. You got Parasite Eve, which I, I didn't know either. You got God. Shenmue, which I couldn't have answered either. All right, we can expect more than 10 new game announcements at which upcoming events? Uh, the Game Awards. Yeah. You didn't even need it. Yep, that's right. Didn't need multiple choice. That's exactly right. So that well, I lost. Be huge. But I won in last, spirit. Last question. This should be easy because we already talked about it. Oh. <laughs> A law firm says it's conducting investigations into the refund policy for which game? Red Dead Redemption 2, <laughs> Battlefield 5, Black Ops 4, Fallout 76. Fallout 76. Ah. Nick with a first ever perfect score on Chris Please is the winner. That's hey, right. Hey, all right. Yep. Uh, previously. You get to live. I get to live. <laughs> what does that mean for you? <laughs> what I've always. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the glitch please we have today. Anybody else have anything they want to talk about? Or what? Should we go to the post? We. we well, let's. I just wanted to think about this for a second. Okay. There's a lot of games that have come out this year. Yes. Uh, that I have not played. I need to make oh, a list of of games for like my own personal game of the year. Right. Um, so, what have you not played? I'm thinking like Assassin's Creed Odyssey is on my list. Yes. Um, Just Cause is coming out. Not out yet. Yep. I kind of want to play Black Ops because I'm hearing good things. It's fun. Is it? Yeah. It's, uh, I'm not a huge battle royale person, but it's it's I like it. What else is out there that I'm missing? Um, did you play Spider Man? I did. I love Spider Man. Okay. Oh, so I haven't played Spyro. Oh, yeah. Yep. Spyro is on my list of games to get someday, along with Crash Bandicoot. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Crash Bandicoot. So good. I beat it in like one sitting. <laughs> it's the best game. Um, I haven't fit Spider Man's on my list. I've started, I have not finished it. I am a big on. fan of open world games, so Red Dead Redemption 2 is mm -hmm. super on that list. I've been oddly not that crazy into the hype for Just Cause 4, even though I loved Just Cause 2. I didn't think and, there was uh, a lot of hype. I don't think there's a lot of hype going into it. And there's it's really like, not. Like It's, it's, like it's my cause, kind of game exactly, because it's, it's open world, it's chaos. I love destroying things. And Just Cause 3, I never finished it, but I enjoyed what I played of that game. Yeah. They're not, like, they're adding... The thing is, their big hook is, like, tornadoes, which is... That's cool, yeah. but that's not like, oh, this is a brand... Like, mm, I understand why people might be a little bit eh about it. But. I guess I'd be curious what they have done with the grappling hook mechanic because I love the changes they made in three. Yeah, where you they, have multiple tethers, you can retract them together. They they added uh, things like you can customize like your mods on all of your gear. Mm -hmm. So with the grappling hook, you you can adjust like strength. You can adjust how many grappling hooks you can have out. You can adjust uh, length. You can adjust like uh, when it would retract. All that sort of stuff. So there is a lot of customization to the gear in this one, which is really cool. The biggest question I have about Just Cause 4 is, is there going to be a multiplayer mod for it? Because that not, they, Just Cause that 2 was, multiplayer is was, one of the best multiplayer I was waiting for that announcement, ever too. They didn't, uh, they didn't say it. Which is weird, because they brought that team into the studio for a while. They officially like gave them their blessing, the Just Cause 2 yeah. multiplayer team. Uh, man. But oh well. Um, oh. Oh, Call of Cthulhu, man. I don't like Call horror Cthulhu games. Nice. I am like so into Lovecraft mythos, though, yeah. that I will I will suffer it for this one. <laughs> I didn't realize, I looked him up, I didn't realize that Lovecraft was like totally unknown during his life. Like one of those like who was like, you know, during his lifetime, not famous, but has such a huge influence now. Yeah. Like everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I forgot one that's out, Valkyria Chronicles 4. I loved the, the the one that came out on the PS3. I think it was back 2009, 2010. Uh, so much. It's like a combination, like, uh, strategy, sort of tactics game, mm -hmm. but it's from a third-person perspective. Really cool watercolor art. Kind of like an anime World War II, but, like, I'm not making it sound as fun as it is, but it was a fucking blast. Uh, it's out now. I just haven't had time to get to it. Mm -hmm. There's just so much stuff. So... All right, that is all the Glitch Please for today. Stick around for first members for New Game Plus. That is our post show where we answer questions from you guys, and we'll see you there.